Hey guys, today we are going to talk about eight cards that have gone up in price. Probably the one that is most surprising, Reki the History of Kamigawa, which is two in a green legendary creature, Human Shaman. Whenever you play a legendary spell, draw a card. It is a 1-2, obviously very good in EDH, might see some modern play. The card has spiked from pretty much a dollar all the way up to $10 overnight. The European market is still at 80 pence or euros, 0.80 euros, so there's not much movement there. There is the opportunity for arbitrage if you can successfully do it. Now, will this price be stay at $10? Probably not. I, it doesn't seem like a card that can hold a $10 mark, but nonetheless, interesting to note. Next card we are going to talk about has more volatility, Singing Tree from Arabian Nights. It is a rare, and as we've talked about, pretty much every single rare from Arabian Nights has done extremely well. They are now collector's items. This is not a powerful card, you tap to reduce an attacking power's creature's power to zero, and it is a zero free tree. So it's not like an overly powerful Tomogorf that is gonna smack you in the face. It's okay. I mean, even in ED8s, there's so many better options that you can play. This one, a rare from Arabian Nights, any rare from Arabian Nights will eventually be valuable one day. This has gone up and down, up and down. As you can see, it was around $20 at Eternal Masters before hitting the $48 mark today. Staying on the subject of older cards, Concord Crossroads is a $13 card. It is a card that spiked up to almost $15 at one time and then has gone down I love the card. It is very, very good in EDH. However, it is hard to find. These are not easy cards to get your hands on. However, if you do have them, the option is to hold it, even from Chronicles. Chronicles has seen a lot of movement recently. I mean, the Chronicle cards are interesting because they do they are the same cards as collector's items, but they are white bordered and not at more common. But if you are someone who played Magic 20 years ago and you just want to play with cards that you played when you were a child, this would be one of them. So that's what I believe is happening. People are with money are now buying Magic cards just to play with cards that they wanted to play with as a, you know, with a $5 allowance or maybe a $2 allowance. I know my allowance every week was about $2. I couldn't really afford these fancy cards, but now I can. Next, we have a $10 and $25 foil, which is a Snake Lord. Other snakes you control get plus two, plus two. Whenever a snake you control deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. We know that this card is has gone up in price due to snakes. What tribe would I say would be very similar to snakes? Well, there is a tribe, very famous in Unglue, and we are getting unstable. This tribe was also relatively good, deranged hermit in Urza Legacy, and the Wrangler in Prophecy, I believe, were very good uh, tribal. So I could see this tribal, this tribe doing very well with unstable. Next, Corrosive Mentor, Uncommon from Shadowmoor. These Uncommons keep spiking. If you have any Shadowmoor, or if you have a store, a local game store that has Shadowmoor bulk, so much value, just so much value in the Uncommon and even the Common slots because minus one, minus one counters are back. There is a card which destroys all creatures with minus one, minus one counters, and it's pretty good because this card puts it on, it, on them. Wow. Shadowmoor is, the uncommons are great, the common, everything is going up in price. Any new minus one, minus one mechanics, and remember we haven't seen the entire uh, set spoiled, but any new mechanics is going to drive up the prices of these older cards. 
Okay, so I do want to talk about this. I remember watching a YouTube video when I first started and there was a guy who bought a lot of bulk and he was complaining about you know all the bad cards and one of the cards he was complaining about was the Guile. The Guile is very good. It is a pseudo brainstorm for green, which is crazy, right? One green enchantment during your upkeep, you may look at the top three cards of your library and then put them back in any order. Miracles is looking for a substitute now that Sensei's Divining Top is banned. This is a pseudo okay card. I don't really play that deck, so I'm not entirely sure that if you want to splash green. Uh, top is obviously better because it's banned. It's very, very good. But this card is a semi okay card, and in ED8 it's very, very good in ED8. It's the cumulative ability of scrying like crazy adds up. All right, now let's talk about a Modern Masters 2017 card. These cards are slowly, but reliably and steadily ticking up. The cheapest point was probably two to three weeks ago was the cheapest point that you could have gotten these cards. As you can see the trend, it looks like it was almost at 42. Yes, that it has actually a bigger drop around March, but you could have still got them recently and been okay. Now they are trending up. So if you don't have your play set of fetch lands, you're not going to have much time. There's not much time left and the trend of these cards are going up. They're not going to go down anymore. They're not even going to stabilize. So previously, a month ago, they probably were mostly down. And then I saw them stabilize and I thought that was kind of interesting. And now they're trending up. They're no longer going to be as cheap as they were before. Lastly, finally, finally this card goes up in price. It is over $20. It has been a long time since it has been at $20. All the way to Battle for Zendikar, it was $20. This card is still one of the best cards in existence. One of the best cards in Magic bar none. One of the best cards in Modern. Playable in every single format. Just a OP card. One of those cards that turn one, this is what you want if you are in black. If you play black at all, this is what you want to do on turn one. It helps that the life loss is actually good for Death Shadow. So this card is not standard playable, obviously, but the next best format would be modern for it. And it's very good in modern. Very good in modern. One of the best discard spells, I would probably pick this one. Mind Twist is obviously the most powerful, just bar none. But this is second. Uh, in my opinion, this is the second spell. You grab pretty much whatever you want. You take the two life, which in Death Shadow is actually good. You want life loss, and you are not afraid of losing life. So very interesting card. It finally hit over $20. I would say it's a hold. I don't see it dipping too low. Maybe it dips below $20 one more time, but I do not see it being as low as it has been in the past. Anyway, leave me a comment below. Bye, guys.